Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week I want to talk about data regions. Data regions allow customers that use Google Workspace to decide where their data is held. Is it held in the European Union or is it held in the United States? This is very important for a lot of customers around GDPR and compliance. Google have now changed or updated this feature to basically make a form of data regions available to all customers from business standard upwards, which is pretty much almost all of the plans uh, that are available on Google Workspace. If this is important to you and you'd like to learn more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So, what are data regions and why are they important to your business? Well, as I said, data regions allow you to hold your data in a region, the US or the European Union is what's available at the moment. Perhaps Google will add more regions uh, at a later stage. And until uh, last year, customers could, uh, when they were on GC Basic Business or Enterprise, the, the previous tiers, if you were on GC Business or upwards, you could have access to data regions and you could host your data in, in Europe, which for a lot of European customers is really, really important. Um, when the new tiers came out, the new Google Workspace plans at the end of the year and the rebrand in October, November, Google only allowed data regions in Enterprise Plus, which is the highest tier and the most expensive, um, about 312 euros uh, per user per year. So customers that required data regions needed to upgrade to this higher tier, which was very, very expensive. Uh, there was a lot of pushback from customers, from partners, um, and perhaps from the EU, we don't know, uh, on Google to, to look to maybe um, allow, particularly for European customers, uh, this feature and make it, make it available to, to more plans. So um, in July, Google announced that fundamental data regions, so a slightly different feature, would be made available from um, Google Workspace business standard upwards. Okay, so this is very interesting because that is the same price, Google Workspace business standard is the same price as G Suite business uh, was in the, in the previous set of plans. And fundamental data regions, although there's, I'm gonna go through the difference, there is some uh, less features from the, the enterprise data regions. This is now the, the, new, the, the new name for data regions in business, uh, in enterprise plus, excuse me. Um, it, it basically gives data regions uh, um, or, or makes data regions available to all customers from business standard upwards, which is a really, really welcomed change uh, for European customers. So what is the difference between fundamental data regions and enterprise data regions? Well, there's a couple of key things, um, but really for most customers, if you require data regions, you want all your data hosted in Europe or the US, then you're fine. Uh, fundamental data regions will solve that problem for you. Um, but there are kind of three key differences. So the first one is that you don't have, you can't have multiple data regions. Within the um, enterprise data regions, you can have an, a particular OU or group of um, users that maybe have their data hosted in the US, and then you can have another set of users that can have their data hosted in Europe. That's not possible within fundamental data regions. It's just a blanket US or EU, okay, for the entire organization. And that then follows through to the next thing, which is organizational units. Organizational units is basically how within Google, we organize our users into organizational units. You might have your US team, your European team, your you know uh, Asian team, and you, you would break it down, or you might have it broken down by department. So customers will break down their users in different ways. You might have executives, um, and marketing and uh, finance and so on and so forth. Within um, enterprise data regions, you could have a different data region for each, each of these organizational units. Within fundamental data regions, you can only do it for the root um, org unit, i.e. again for the entire organization. And then the last difference is in reporting. So within the enterprise data regions, you have access to advanced reports that allow you to kind of see uh, the progress of your data being migrated over to whatever data region you've chosen. 
that's it. So they're, they're the, the three differences. I think for most customers, the fundamental data regions will be enough, um, particularly again for those European customers that just want to host all of their data in the EU. Um, this feature is available in Google Workspace, Business Standard, Business Plus, and Enterprise Standard, and then obviously the Enterprise Plus has the, the Enterprise level um, data regions. The plans that it's not available in, which I think is probably more interesting, is um, Google Workspace Essentials and Enterprise Essentials. So those customers who basically just want to use Google Drive, Meet, like kind of collaborative features, it's not available in, in that. It's not available for the um, base or free version of education and for nonprofits. Uh, it is available for the frontline worker SKU as well. So I think this is, a, as I said, a really, really welcome change for a lot of our, our customers, particularly those in the European Union, who were kind of feeling like they were being forced uh, to pay this, this premium simply to have their, their data hosted in, in the EU. And I think it's interesting that it's basically now gone back to the way it was, where it was available from the price equivalent of the G Suite basic SKU, SKU which is um, Google Workspace Business Standard. So do let us know um, what you guys think of this update um, and if it's going to be something that you will use within your organization for GDPR, for compliance, um, or you know, sometimes within specific industries, again, customers need to hold their data within the EU. Um, do let us know if you have any videos that you would like us to cover or topics that you would like us to cover, again, in the comments below. And I will see you guys next week.